Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be trying out a full face of viral TikTok dupes. I think this is gonna be a good video, you guys, because there's a lot of good stuff in here and I have tried a lot of these products individually. I just haven't really necessarily tried them out side by side with the high-end products. A couple things, but not everything. And a lot of these are Charlotte Tilbury dupes because if you guys are on TikTok, you know how popular this brand is on there. I have a couple other brands, but a lot of these are Charlotte Tilbury. So we're gonna do a full face and hopefully by the end of this, we will have some dupes so I'm gonna do one side of my face using all drugstore and affordable products and then the other side is gonna be all high-end makeup and the ultimate goal is to have a seamless makeup application at the end of this with a full face of dupes so let's try out these dupes grab a snack get cozy and Let's get into it. Okay, so starting off with the eyes, the look is gonna be really simple. So I'm gonna just do bronzer in the crease and a glitter because most of the dupes that I do have are complexion dupes. So I already primed my lids and I used the Everlasting Eye Base from Dominique Cosmetics. And for the bronzer, I'm gonna start off with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Matte Bronzer. I have this one in the shade Medium 2. This is such a smooth, very blendable bronzer. It comes in a couple different shades as well and you can use it on your body. It's a good formula. And the dupe that I've seen is the LA Girl matte bronzer and I have this one in the shade back to the beach so when I saw this I could see like why people think this is a dupe because the LA girl one is also very smooth and blendable but the undertones are different this one is a little bit more cool toned and this one has more like warm orangey tones I think we can make this work and make it look a little even we'll see but let's apply this in the crease and I'm going to use different brushes on each side of my face You can see it has like that orangey undertone, but I actually really like it because it's not too much and the formula is so blendable. And then on the other side, I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Bronzer. I actually really like the LA Girl Bronzer because of the undertone. It's a little bit warm, but it has that ashy tone to it, but it's not too ashy or gray on my skin. So I think both bronzers are great. The formulas of both of them are really nice. The undertones are just clearly a little bit different. So I guess it really just comes down to preference and what you like in a bronzer as far as the shade. Now we're gonna go in with some glitter. For the high-end side, I'm gonna use the Iconic London Glaze Crown in the shade Nectar. So you get a liquid glitter eyeshadow on one side and then a shadow stick on the other. I'm not a huge fan of the shadow stick personally. I'm not gonna use that anyway. I'm just gonna use the glitter. But the dupe that I have is another product from LA Girl and this is the LA Girl Dream Glitter in the shade Rose Gold. So this one does not come with a shadow stick. It just comes with the actual liquid glitter, but I love these. These I have tried really beautiful. I haven't tried this color, but I love this formula. So let's see the shades and how they look. Ooh, pretty. I have swatched this. This is a really pretty shade. So I think it's pretty, but it's kind of sheer. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more like intense, but maybe the cream shadow in here makes this pop a little bit more if you put that on underneath. But I think the dupe is gonna be like just as good. So let's go with LA Girl on the other side. Oh yeah. You see, I feel like even actually this one is a little bit more intense and vibrant when you apply it. So the undertone of this is a little bit darker than the one from Iconic London, but I actually like this one more because it shows up more and yeah. I like this one. This is pretty. This next dupe is not from TikTok. I was kind of just browsing around my eyeliners and I feel like this could be a good dupe. So for the high-end liner, I'm going to use the Tattoo Waterproof Liquid Liner from KVD. It just comes with a felt tip. Super easy formula to work with. I actually like this a lot. And then the dupe that I have is the LA Girl Jet Setter Liquid Liner. And this is also another felt tip. I don't know, you guys. I think this is another good, pretty spot on dupe. I would say the liquid liner from LA Girl is really easy to work with. I love the felt tip and the finish is looking like it's very similar to the one from KVD. I mean, can you guys tell the difference? Because I feel like it's minimal. Let me do some mascara and lashes. I don't have like any drugstore versus high-end because I feel like honestly, you could definitely just get any drugstore mascara, drugstore lashes. You don't need to spend a lot on that. Now, complexion dupes. This is what 
I live for. For the high-end side, I'm gonna go in with the Hollywood Flawless Filter, also again from Charlotte Tilbury, and this one I have in the shade Medium 4. This is the most beautiful, glowy, just natural, radiant primer. This looks good under any foundation, and it's one of my favorite high-end products. But I recently saw that the Milani Hydrating Skin Tint was apparently like a really close dupe to this product, and I got the shade Fair to Light 110. So let's start off with Charlotte Tilbury first, and I'm just gonna put this on pretty much like I would a foundation. And I'm using the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Complexion Brush, which is, by the way, a $48 brush. But e.l.f., you guys already know, has like the same exact brush for $8. The Complexion Duo, it's my favorite. So I'm gonna use this on this side, but look at that glow. It's beautiful. And this is a product that I will say like it's pricey, but it does last a really long time. And I'm a person who is not light-handed when I use this product. Like I use a lot whenever I do apply it. And I still have some product left and I've had this for a minute and I use this, like I said, a lot. But if we can get that same effect for like less than half of the price, I'm here for it. Again, I'm gonna use the Complexion Duo from e.l.f. I love this brush. I have like three of them in my collection. Cause you can also use it for like cream products. So obviously this doesn't have any coverage just because it's a skin tint, but it does feel hydrating and you can see it definitely has a glow factor to it. Oh, that's pretty. So there's Milani and then there's Charlotte Tilbury. The color might be a little bit off because the one from Charlotte Tilbury is darker. It's a little bit tanner than the one from Milani, but hopefully I can make it work. But as far as the finish, I will say it is very similar. Like look at how glowy that is. This one feels a little bit thicker. This feels more runny because it is more of like a skin tint, but it looks so beautiful. So now for foundation, I'm actually going to use a skin tint on both sides. So I have the Urban Decay Tinted Glow Hydrator. I think this is going to be way too dark. I got the shade 50 Medium. I've already had this in my collection. I'm pretty sure I bought this whenever I had a tan. But then for the drugstore side, I'm going to use the Tinted Foundation from LA Girl in the shade Warm Sand. And I'm going to use the same brush from IT Cosmetics. Yeah, the color is a little bit too dark. I'm gonna use just a little bit more. Looks like it evens out your skin tone really naturally though. It doesn't have a ton of coverage, but it's also not super light coverage. Like it's a very natural skin enhancer. So let's do LA Girl on the other side. And this says it's a buildable natural finish. I did test this out before. And yeah, this color is also going to be too dark, but it's okay. We have no choice but to make this work, girl. Wow, that like disappeared into the skin. I feel like the one from Urban Decay has a little bit more coverage. Maybe it's just me. Let me know what you guys think, but this is really hydrating though i'm gonna just add a little bit more just like i did with the other one trying to make everything look as even as possible this is super natural like your skin will better and it looks like when you build it up you can get a little bit more coverage but it's still really natural and fresh so i actually think that's a pretty good dupe i mean the colors might be a little bit different but i feel like Looks pretty good. Okay, so now I'm actually gonna do some cream blush because speaking of TikTok, I've seen people do blush, cream blush first and then concealer because then when you go in with the concealer after, it helps to like blend out all the creams and make everything look super seamless. So I do have a concealer dupe, but we're gonna do blush first today. So for the high-end side, I'm gonna go in with the Soft Pop Blush Stick in Pale Petal from Makeup by Mario. I really like his formula a lot. I especially like his Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick for contouring, his blushes I think are really nice this color is just like a peachy coral shade and then the dupe that i've seen is the gel crush lip and cheek color from flower beauty in the shade raspberry so this is the color that i have that i think could be the closest to this i mean it's a little bit darker but i feel like on the skin hopefully you won't be able to tell i've also seen people comparing this to the milk makeup lip and cheek color as well again i'm using that same brush i just spot cleaned it and i'm gonna just dip directly into that blush That is so pretty, and I'll swatch it for you, too, to show you. Oh, it's like a glowy, pinky blush. Now let's do the other side, and I'm going to go in with Flower Beauty. I'm 
definitely feel like this could be a good dupe i mean when you look at these in the packaging the undertones are slightly different but i feel like on the skin the difference is barely noticeable so yay for another dupe i think this is definitely one of the like more spot on dupes as well so if you're getting that flower beauty cream blush don't get the lightest shade get some of the darker ones because they'll show up better on your skin for concealer let's go in with the high-end concealer first hourglass vanished concealer i have this one in the shade oat and then for the affordable side i have the catrice high cover true skin concealer and these are what both of the applicators look like so they're honestly almost identical I'm gonna start blending this in with a brush and then I'll go in with my sponge. I feel like with this concealer, either you love it or you hate it. Well, actually, just kidding, because I, I feel like I'm in the middle. Every time I use it, I think it's a nice concealer, but it's not my absolute favorite. Now we could do the affordable side and I have the shade Warm Macadamia. So Catrice used to be available at Ulta and I don't know why they got rid of it at Ulta because I love this brand, but you can now get them on Amazon. I really love this brand. I did a full face with them actually like last month or two months ago and they have good stuff. This concealer has good coverage too, but I'm curious to see if it is as good coverage as the one from Hourglass because that one is intense. And I'm going to do the same thing on this eye. I'm going to blend out that under eye concealer with a brush first and I'm using the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. So I'm just going to blend that out and then blend it with my sponge. Okay, so I don't think it's as full coverage as the one from Hourglass, but still love this concealer and I think it has good medium to buildable coverage. So yeah, the one from Hourglass is a little bit thicker, it has slightly more coverage. So I'm going to build up a little bit this side just to make it look even with the high end side. Just like a tiny bit I'm going to add right here. So yes, the Catrice concealer is buildable, which is nice. So spot on dupe for Hourglass, probably not, but good alternative. I like the one from Catrice though. It's definitely one of my favorite affordable concealers. Okay, so I just added a little more cream blush. The method with the concealer, I feel like Eh, I mean, I like it, but you have to go back in with more cream blush anyway, so it's like... I think the complexion looks really good. I mean, a couple differences, but like overall, the drugstore side is not coming to play. So now we're going to set everything, and this is one of my personal favorite dupes. So I have the Airbrush Flawless Skin Perfecting Powder, again, from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade 1 Fair. I really like this. It's a good setting, just very smoothing powder. And the dupe that I have is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Mattifying Powder. This is another favorite. It's like $8, really smooth, great for touching up. And I've actually never really used this for the under eyes until recently, and I think it looks really good. I typically use the shade Light Medium to set my entire face and then I'll use like a loose powder underneath. But for today's video, I'm gonna use both of these powders to set my under eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna use a brush. That is so satisfying, setting the makeup. I think this looks so good. I typically would only use this powder to set my face. I didn't really like it before for my under eyes, but less is more. And then when you really press the product in, it gives you such an airbrushed look under the eyes. I really like it. Now let's go in with NYX. It looks so good. This is one of my favorite dupes. I mean, I love the Charlotte powder. It's so smooth and you can just see it really is like airbrush on the skin. But this next one is so good, especially for that big price difference. I'm gonna finish up my eyes really quick. I'm just gonna do mascara and then a little inner corner highlight. I'm gonna use the High Shine highlighter from Alamar Cosmetics in the shade La Costa. Love this highlighter. It's like a really wet metallic light shade. It comes in other colors as well. This is the lightest color that I love for the inner corners. For powdered blush, another Charlotte Tilbury product is the blush in the shade Ecstasy. This is the prettiest light peachy pink. And the dupe that I found, this is not from TikTok. I actually just discovered this in my collection when I was browsing a few weeks ago. And I feel like this is like the closest blush color that I have to this one from Charlotte Tilbury. And this is the Catrice Blush in a Box. And this one's in the shade Dolce Vita. Not identical, but like very, very similar if you're into like that peachy, corally, everyday color. And this one has a little bit of like those lighter tones in there and so does this one so it adds like this really light effortless glow to the skin 
I feel like the one from Catrice is actually a little bit brighter, but very similar as far as like tones, you know what I mean? Like, and then I just use a foundation brush to kind of buff that out and make it look super seamless and not as harsh. And now I'm gonna add some bronzer, again, using the same ones that I used earlier in my crease. I'm also gonna put some on my neck because my neck does not match my face today, which is fine, because bronzer will do the trick, but. I'm trying to make everything look as even as possible. I'm gonna use the LA Girl bronzer on my nose on both sides because I actually prefer the undertone to this one just because it's a little bit more cool toned. Now for highlight. I've actually heard of this highlighter before. I have here the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and I'm gonna compare this to the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. So I've heard of this dupe before but I never purchased this one from Hourglass because I love this one from Essence so much. I used this the other day and I honestly wasn't super impressed but I'm gonna go in with this and just pretty much apply this on the high points of my face it's supposed to give you just like an effortless kind of like natural glow it's not even meant to be like a highlighter it's more of just like an inner glow but I feel like this is almost a little bit too subtle that it looks like barely anything on my skin for me I would say save your money get the one from essence if you're into a really natural glow that glowiness that I'm talking about. It's almost just like you're glowing from within. And it never emphasizes texture, it's just smooth and beautiful. I wanted to mention another really good, very popular dupe, but you guys definitely should try it. So I have the Beauty Light Wand from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Spotlight. So this is a really beautiful like liquid highlighter. I just picked this up from Sephora and I swatched it and I'm like, okay, I get the hype. I see why everybody loves this. It's beautiful. It's just like a liquid highlighter, but the dupe, you guys, is incredible. So this is the Flower Beauty Spotlight Liquid Highlighter in the shade Gleam. This is basically the same exact thing. I mean, even down to like the packaging, everything. The colors of these specifically are a little bit different. The one from Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit lighter, as you can see, like the undertone from the one from Flower Beauty. You're still getting that beautiful, really glowy effect. You could use these over top of powder. I'm like debating because I really like the way the skin looks right now. I don't really want to add more glowy products, but I'm going to do it. Why not? So let's do a little bit just to show you. This is the Flower Beauty side. I'm just going to use my finger just to blend this out. The only thing is, if you are lighter than me, this might be a little bit too dark. You can kind of see like the shadow with this. So that's like the only thing. The one from Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit lighter, but this does come in a couple other shades. But formula wise, like, I love it. This packaging though, if I'm being honest, it's not the best, like from both of them. It gets so messy, but the product itself is so pretty. I feel like there's a lot of really good like spot on dupes in today's video and this is one of them. I actually think I like this one more, the way that it blends a little bit more seamless. I think the Flower Beauty sides. I have a really good lipstick dupe. So for the high-end lipstick, I have the Makeup by Mario lipstick in the shade Sierra. It's like a light peachy pinky nude. And then for the affordable lipstick, I have Milani's Pleasure lipstick from the Color Fetish matte lip line so this one looks a little bit more pink and this one's more peachy but let's try them on on the lips and we'll compare and i'm going in with just without any lip liner just to show you guys the true color this is a really light nude but i love it and now let's do milani i think that's a pretty good dupe to be honest like when you look at them in the packaging they look slightly different because of the undertone but i think when you actually put it on your lips you can like barely tell like they look so similar so what i'm going to do is add a little lip liner just to really define this a little bit more and i'm going to use the la girl shockwave lip liner in maple glaze this is one of my favorite lip liners the one from mario definitely has more of like a peachy tone to it 
and the one from Milani is much more pinky nude. But again, I feel like from a distance and like if you're not really paying attention, you can't tell that they're different lipsticks. Last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and set everything and I have the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. And now the dupe that I've seen is the Milani Make It Last, the original, but I think that the Make It Last Matte is a much closer dupe because the finish matches to the Charlotte Tilbury one. I love the setting spray and I feel like this is the case where you could definitely either splurge or get the drugstore option. I think they're both honestly really good. So that officially completes this full face of dupes and I have to say this is definitely one of my favorite videos that I've done because I think everything looks really good. Of course there are a couple differences with some of the products as far as undertones, formulas, finishes, but like overall I feel like it looks pretty close and if you were like looking at me from a distance i don't think you would be able to know that i'm wearing different products on both sides of my face and there are a couple products in here that i don't think are like necessarily spot on dupes but i do feel like there are good alternatives but that being said there are a couple things in here that i do think are pretty spot on this goes to show that you don't have to spend a lot of money to get a beautiful makeup look of course there's some things that are worth splurging on that maybe are fun to splurge on but for the most part you really don't need to there's a lot of good stuff in today's video and there's a couple products in here that i actually prefer over the high end. For instance, this LA Girl glitter, I prefer this over the one from Iconic London. I think the eyeliners are also pretty like spot on dupes. Setting spray wise, I also think those are really good dupes. I love the new Milani Hydrating Skin Tint. I think this is also a good alternative to the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I also prefer the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter over this one from Hourglass. I like the bronzers as well. They're different as far as undertone, but I think the formulas are nice together. And same with the lipstick. The undertone is a little bit different, but if you like that very comfortable, velvet matte finish. You will love the Milani formula. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these. What are your favorite dupes? Leave them down below in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe before you leave for more drugstore and affordable videos. And I'll see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye!